Hello and again welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself Kurt Capra and Pristine Trading. As always please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And also, please remember to check out our upcoming schedule for free webinars. This week we have on Monday, December 14th, Why Every Trader Needs to Discover Prop Trading. And then we also have on Thursday, December 17th, also at 4.15, our holiday party with President and CEO Greg Capra. And also, if you're not aware, we are running a open house throughout this week so if you're interested in getting into our trading room seeing what we do on a daily basis you can register for that attend it any day of the week that you have available time for and you know the more the more the better of course the more exposure you get to seeing what we do on a daily basis the better the experience will also be for you and uh, we'll even have some specials going on so uh, you, you can take advantage of the holiday spirit and get started in 2016 on the right foot so hopefully you can make it and we'll see you there all right taking a look at where things are at here around the world of forex euro us dollar here in the upper left we can see here wide range bar which we spoke about last week and so far things have been holding up quite well you can see we had a push up uh, last week, early part of last week, then we we went sideways last couple days, uh, rounding out the end of the week. We do have the FOMC announcement this week, so that could certainly provide some movement here for these U.S. dollar pairs. Definitely want to be aware of that. But leading into the announcement, I mean, if, if Euro U.S. dollar continues to hold this uh, this sideways base and stay above these moving averages. Uh, as it consolidates at this prior resistance, that is bullish. And so a break above these highs would signal uh, long. You know, it's, it would tell us that we want to be looking to get long. So that's what I'll be looking for. I mean, I, I will be more inclined to do it on an intraday basis rather than looking to get into anything swing here right now. Because as I said, with the FOMC, it could it could definitely throw things out of whack. Uh, you know, that being said, you could get into something early part of, of Monday, uh, even Tuesday, and look to hold on to it as we head into the announcement. You could still get some volatility there. So definitely overall opportunity here on Euro US dollar, in my opinion, if we break out to the long side. Uh, and, and then if it fails, we could have an equal uh, opportunity looking at, at things moving lower. So either way, there seems to be opportunity here in Euro US dollar. Moving on over to Aussie dollar, US dollar here, we can see that it is weakening a bit here, trying to hold this support. But I'll tell you what, if we end up getting continued weakness resulting in a topping tail here, uh, then that's going to suggest even further downside. If we look at the weekly chart, we can see that the weekly chart is still in a downtrend, so it would make sense to believe and think that price can come back down to this 705150 area and um, and then we'll see what happens if it holds it once again or is it going to continue to fall so I am leaning slightly more bearish based on this information it's a it is a uh, deep move into support so I would be looking for this to continue weakening uh, as we head into this week New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar in the upper right. We can see this one is trying to grind its way higher. So overall, I wouldn't fight that trend. I would I would stay cautiously bullish at this point. But I don't see any great swing opportunity here. There's nothing that I would be looking to hold on to for a multi-day move. Moving on down to the bottom right, US dollar yen. This one broke down. Nice breakdown here on the daily. So I remember if you recall last week's video, we were saying, hey, this is looking bullish. And it was until it until it wasn't anymore, right? So once it broke under this base, we were saying that it would then have room to continue falling. And that's exactly what happened here. It's into some support and just kind of bouncing around. So 
it, it may take a little more time. I, I still would be interested in a breakdown for shorting. This could continue to fall right through this level here. So I am still interested in the short side. But again, I, I would be very uh, interested. I would be very uh, zoned in on what type of behavior we are seeing if it does begin to break down. Because this is the area where... If it breaks down, it's going to do one of two things. It could continue to fall with the same momentum we saw last week, or it could break down and then buyers step up more aggressively and it snaps back to the upside. So that is why I would be more closely watching this area if it does break down. Um, I, I am still interested in the area, but as, as I said, because of that support to the left, we've got to be a bit more in tune and aware of what's going on because it's not as clear cut as just saying hey if it breaks down it should easily fall down to this next level this wouldn't necessarily be an easy break uh, although it could i mean anything could happen but I, I wouldn't expect it to necessarily be as easy as other breakdowns would be and then the bottom middle chart us dollar canadian dollar breakout here has had some great follow through right now it's just consolidating here and it's a, it's at a tricky spot i mean it's up up significantly here over the last couple days we're coming into the fomc day uh, i think that this is a pair better left alone overall i mean you could still play intraday strength if we look at an hourly chart uh what we will see is you know this uptrend that we've had in place and so while that can continue to exist, we want to be a bit more cautious because it is it is up quite a bit here already. So uh, prior highs do need to be respected. If you can get some momentum through them, that's great. But overall, I would be much more cautious at this point uh, because, again, like I said, it is up multiple days. Here's the four-hour chart just to see another side of it. If this ends up uh, in a topping tail, that, that could mark the top here and that we're going to get a pullback to some lower levels. So that's uh, something else to watch for. And then finally here in the uh, lower left pound U.S. dollar, this one uh, had rallied back up into resistance starting to weaken here as we head into this week. So we'll see where it goes. It's it's not really that clean at this point. Uh, the daily is really quite sloppy overall. So just looking to play intraday momentum would be more appropriate given this juncture. Looking at the weekly chart, it is it is getting suppressed to the downside, but you can see how volatile and how erratic it's been. So again, while the bias can be bearish, it, it's got to be a cautiously bearish uh, in the sense that it, it could wiggle you out and still move lower. So cautiously meaning you need to pick your spots as far as where you're going to put your stop um, very carefully. You know, if you try and go too tight, it's probably going to whip you out and then continue heading lower. So you definitely need to maybe give it a little extra room, maybe a little more than you would have normally. And that should help keep you in, in this uh, trend lower. But you just got to realize that the volatility is a bit high here right now. And although the bias based on the trend is bearish the volatility would suggest it won't be an easy move down so we'll see where things go throughout this week as i said we do have the fomc announcement to be aware of uh and so that could definitely change these pictures but for right now that is the roundup here some of the best opportunities from a multi-day uh, move viewpoint would be on euro us dollar and us dollar yen but i also do think that there can be some really nice opportunity in aussie us dollar to the downside as well as new zealand dollar us dollar to the upside um, so that is uh, how i see things here hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and if so make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions do so in the comments section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. But in the meantime, stay patient, stay disciplined, stay confident. We'll talk to you next time and hopefully see you in a webinar coming up this week or the open house. Until next time, guys, have a great time trading.